on the feet, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into She Wanted My Life, Tricky Trina, part three, story time. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so what happened was, hold on. This video must be getting like long and juicy because my, uh, I ran out of storage, so I'm back. I hope you guys can see me. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. So what I was saying was, of course we have disagreements in our relationship, but we were not that relationship that scream and holler and cuss. You know, we were more like, let's talk things out, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I always said that once you start hitting in a relationship, it's, it's over. Like it's a wrap. Once you start fighting and hitting, it's kind of like you could bust out into a fight at any time. When I was in relationships with my kid's dad or whatever, we had a lot of abuse. And when I say abuse, like if he didn't like something, he would hit. So mm -hmm. I always promised myself that I ever got in a relationship that I was happy with, I would never hit. Because once you hit that one time and you don't stop it, like it's like you can you would bust out to a fight at any time. So I was always that person, we don't hit. So now she's telling me that I poked her in her eye and she's screaming like, oh, my eye, my eye. And I'm like, okay, I didn't mean to poke you in your eye, but I need answers. And I need answers now. Like, I need to know right now what was going on in that room. And I'm not accepting that y'all were drinking. I'm not accepting any of that because I found all this stuff. Like, the bed is full of blood, like a murder scene. What did y'all like? Were y'all? I, I I can't even like the thought of, uh, of trying to picture it makes me sick to my stomach. What was going on while she was on her cycle? Because that is disgusting. You barely even know her. She's she had literally just told me, just told me that when she went on a cruise with her parents, she met a guy and a girl, and she slept with them both unprotected, and she had just met them. So I'm like, and by the way. She got the guy's number and was still talking to the guy behind the girl's back because she was like, I don't want the girl. The guy was fine. Okay, so to, that that was just a part of her character. That's who she was. So you're, you, she just. Y'all, I'm putting my prize pick in right now. Don't pay attention to me on this phone. I need to get me some money today. I had sex with somebody on a cruise. No But protection. I'm listening. And she's on her cycle blood all over the bed what could have possibly been so now i'm just like no you need i need to know i need answers come on now we i i, I need to know what's going on wake up right now get up and she's oh you scratch me in the eye i'm over here feeling sorry for her because now i didn't sit here and poked her in the eye not realizing that she's deflecting from answering the question so she she's looking me in my face and she's like cindy Why is everyone spiraling over YouTube oh, banning? Oh hell no! Why would such a thing happen like that? Oh my god! Barely even know her. She's she had literally just told me, just told me that when she went on a cruise with her parents, she met a guy and a girl, and she slept with them both unprotected, and she had just met them. So I'm like, and by the way. She got the guy's number and was still talking to the guy behind the girl's back because she was like, I don't want the girl. The guy was fine. That heifer wouldn't have never been around my shouty. Some people tell you who they are in the beginning. You really got to believe them. I'm sure she knows that now, but yeah. Okay, so to, that, that was just a part of her character. That's who she was. So you're, you, she just had sex with somebody on a cruise, no protection. Ugh. And... She's on her cycle, blood all over the bed. What Ugh. could have possibly been? So now I'm just like, no, you need, to, I need to know. I need answers. Come on now. We, I, I, I need to know what's going on. Wake up right now. Get up. And she's, oh, you scratch me in the eye. I'm over here feeling sorry for her because now I didn't sit here and poked her in the eye, not realizing that she's deflecting from answering the question. So she, she's looking me in my face and she's like, Cindy, I, I got something to tell you. I was like, okay. She said, I don't know what happened. I was like, what? I, I blacked out. I don't know what I was doing in there, but I could tell you now I would never do anything inappropriate. I would never do that. She was like, you know, she admitted to taking the, the unprescribed drugs, pills, and she admitted that she had mixed alcohol with it, a lot of alcohol, and she blacked out.
She was like, now that is possible. Um, but I, we got to get deeper into this. So far, do y'all think that um, she's gaslighting her or do y'all think that that actually kind of happened? All I could tell you is I didn't do anything appropriate. So I'm like, if you didn't do anything inappropriate, then why? Both of them. If you didn't do anything inappropriate, why was the door closed? Um, why would you even go in there like what I, I just still have questions she was like no no I did ask her if you can remember that you did nothing inappropriate why can't you remember anything else so at this point now I know something happened I know something happened I'm texting my I'm texting Tricky Trina I'm like we need to meet up now because my ex is saying she don't remember anything I need you to tell me what happened do you know this helper gonna tell me Girl, I've been taking vegetables and everything trying to remember, and I just can't remember nothing. Taking vegetables is crazy. What does that even mean? She was like, all I know is when I woke up, you were in the room questioning your ex, and I think she might have did me something. I'm like, so you think my ex did you something? She was like, yeah, because think about it. I'm in the room by myself, sleep, and I wake up. I said, your panties were behind the bed. Yes, that's the thing. I wake up and my panties were gone. I don't know what she did to me. I, I feel I feel like I need to know what happened too. So I'm like, oh my goodness. My ex is not the type of person to rape nobody, right? So I'm asking my ex, are you rape is crazy? Are you sure you what did what happened? Because now she's accusing you of maybe coming in there touching her or raping her or something. Like now I really need answers because this is not making any sense to me. And then at the same time, I'm feeling like a horrible friend because, oh my gosh, what if my ex was so messed up that she went in there and touched Tricky Trina and I'm accusing Tricky Trina of something going on and, and maybe she was really asleep. All kind of stuff is going through my head because I'm actually really at this point believing my ex. She could have drugged her too. From what y'all saying. Based off what my son said, he was like, Mama, she been getting really loaded lately. Like, she would fall down in the hallway. She would, um, he would have to bring her to bed at night. Like, she had been doing so much stuff out of the ordinary. Okay, so uh, she, she did have, like, some weird behavior. But I didn't think it was enough for us to, I thought that she had just started drinking a lot. So, I know you guys are thinking, like, I gotta be stupid. And I, I realize in life there is never a good thing to judge anybody because you never know what you'll do in a situation. Had anybody told me this story 100%, I would have said, are you crazy? All the evidence was there. Why you didn't do anything? But when you trust somebody wholeheartedly, like it is really hard to, it, it's really, really hard to just like, you trust somebody wholeheartedly with your life and they look you in your face and say, I don't know what happened. All I know is you, I say, well, if you don't know what I did ask, if you don't know what happened, I asked all kinds of questions. Like guys, I literally have like a 10 minute video, a five minute video of me just asking all the questions. I recorded me asking and heard these questions because I needed to go back and listen to it to make sure I wasn't crazy. I'm like, so... If you didn't do nothing wrong and you were completely out of it, why didn't I walk in on you sleep? Why, when I walked in, you were acting like you were turning a TV? Like I had so many questions, but it all bowed down to, I had that woman in my house. I knew what type of woman she was and I knew she had <sighs> seduced my ex and I'm not giving my ex a pass. 100% you, I don't care what you were on. You made a conscious decision to go in that room so you so i do believe the seduced part i'm gonna tell y'all because just like men men do get seduced a lot don't get me wrong men ain't shit anyway but you know women do approach men a lot in a more sexual manner i feel like especially when alcohol is involved and women do the same thing to studs so that's why you just cannot put yourself in that situation and i also feel as though they was looking at each other before that and I feel like they had a conversation before that. I also feel like before that, um, 
little flirting and shit was going on if it wasn't a clear conversation. Because I've learned these days, the older I get, everybody ain't going to converse about it. Sometimes they just do things, you know, because everybody don't even talk about it. They just more so of a doer than a, than a talker. So, um, I just feel like they both knew something and felt, felt like they wanted to risk it all that night. Now, why it was a bloodbath there though? You still were wrong. However, Ain't nobody coming to my house and steal nothing from me. So I'm, as I'm asking Tricky Trina questions, I'm like, we need to meet up, blah, blah, blah. Tricky Trina said, I, I want to read y'all our text messages. She said, um, I can't believe that you're accusing me. You my sister. And now you're uh, accusing. I'm going to read some of the text messages to y'all. Hold on one second. But I, I just really got to get into this video. Gosh, I want to read them, but it's going to make the video so much longer. And I got my grandson has a doctor's appointment in like, one hour. So let me get into it. So she was, she was telling me stuff like, um, I can't believe you're accusing me. I feel like you're, you're trying to end our friendship over speculations, stuff that I would never do, blah, blah, blah. I can't believe your, your ex walked in that room on me. Uh, instead of you checking on me, you are accusing me. So I'm feeling now I don't know what to feel because my ex is saying she blacked out. It's kind of like now their stories are kind of uh, col collaborate, collaborating or whatever because Tricky Trina saying she was asleep. My ex saying she don't know what happened because she blacked out. But for me... Which are good excuses. I ain't gonna lie. But not good enough to cover up that little um, blood situation. Yeah, you can't cover that up right there. So not only that, panties behind the bed. So they, I would have been, I would have lost my shit at you not being beside me. No, 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 no. It's too early in the morning for you not to be beside me, number one. Number two, I'm feeling a little woozy. I would have felt like you drunk me anyway. Um, Number three, as soon as I walked in that room, y'all, Probably would have just went to jail. And I do believe in you never know what would have happened if, if you weren't there. Also, she was um, sed not sedated, but she was drugged, I feel like. So um, I just feel like she wasn't in her right mind in general. So I 100% How she handled it was to the best of her ability. I now feel like Trick or Trina tried it. The only reason why I'm talking to her is because I'm trying to get her face to face. I know without a doubt if I look in her eyes, I can see straight through her evil spirit like I just kept saying come meet me come meet me she was like well I don't feel comfortable meeting you why we you said you were gonna fast I said well we don't have to drink let's meet for coffee oh no I feel like when I talked to my mama about it she told me that I should not get in it um y'all trying to bring me into this drama I, I got a text right now on my phone I can show you guys all the text where I said how is it drama when I'm just trying to get to the bottom of something if you're really my friend if you're really really my friend then why won't you ease my mind? Why don't you meet up with me? She was terrified to meet up with me. She was just like, uh-uh. So, so again, I knew it was her again because you're terrified to meet up with me, right? So I was like, okay, cool. But in She my was mind, scared I'm you was going to beat that ass. I ain't giving my ex no pass, but I'm not about to end my 18-year relationship because now we finally got a hump in the road. Actually, I started to think like, you know what? We needed this. I, I know it sounds crazy, guys. No, it does not sound crazy. I, I'm really sick of people and their cliches of these relationships. Being with somebody for 18 years, some people can be in a relationship for 18 years and not cheat ever. That is a thing. But temptation is also a thing in relationships. That's why you cannot put yourself in them situations. Okay. So you, when you see men saying like, shit, I live out in the country, me and my wife, uh, I go up to the store every day. I get me a beer. I go to work. I come back home. That's where he need to be. You understand? Because soon as he decide to go to Atlanta and hit a club, he, he boy, you're through. You get what you're through. <laughs> He's going to get some ass, okay? And consciously, it's not even like a, um, yeah, temptation, alcohol, and drugs. Come on, y'all. 
18 year relationship, never did nothing. Now, what bothers me is that you chose her friend. Like, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Like, nigga, since me and Honey Sauce met each other, it's always been honesty at the front door. And in the beginning, I wanted to be a whore, okay? Because I had already been in a long term relationship already. Then I meet you. You're a, an amazing woman, I know, but I'm not ready. I know I'm not ready. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we started the way we started. It's like, listen, I'm telling you right now, I'm not ready. I know I'm not. So I don't know if you want to hold on, whatever. She was like, I'll wait as long. I'll wait as long as, you know, I want to wait. So we we came into our relationship with me dapping her niggas and her knowing about bitches. We, we don't even have that problem. But that's how honest you have to be. When y'all start off relationships with no honesty, it just, it don't work. I'm telling you right now. Damn, my bad. It don't, it don't work with no honesty, bro. And what y'all nope. think may be crazy ain't crazy. It's just right for your relationship. At least, at least, at least you being honest with me. If she come to me right now and say, I want to do something with whoever, give me the chance. That's all we ever ask each other. Just give me the damn chance to say if I'm going to deal with it or not. I think people need to practice that in their relationships. Oh, it sounds crazy, but I'm just telling y'all my truth, what I was thinking in my mind. Because our relationship was so non-confrontational, we were so comfortable with each other, it made me look at her and realize I love her. I don't want to lose her and definitely no, nobody, this devil not about to come in my house and take my relationship. I'm not giving up this easy. This is our first time ever having an issue in our relationship and I'm not going out like a sucker. My ex came and told me, she was like, I am so sorry. I don't know what made me go to that room. Can we please just go to Mexico or something? Mind you, our anniversary was coming up. Our anniversary was in two weeks. She was like, let's go to Mexico. Let's just go this weekend. Let's go. Let's get away. She said, I just wanted to be me and you, blah, blah, blah. So I'm knowing she feels guilty. I even, we even sat down and talked and I said, you don't have to tell me what went on in that room. Just please tell me that it was something inappropriate. So I'll know how to handle that other person. And oh, she tell me what went on in that room. Tell me what went on in that room. Period. Let me know. Said it was inappropriate, but she still couldn't remember nothing. She just know and she feels that it was inappropriate for her to go in that room. She never blamed Tricky Trina. As a matter of fact, she was still taken up for Tricky Trina because she said, she started saying, I was wondering why when I was talking to her, she wasn't really answering. I, I want to know, so is that the reason why you laid in a bed with her? You know, I'm still trying to blah, blah, blah. Again, at this point, I really don't care what happened. What the hell was y'all on? What was they on? This is crazy. <laughs> I, in my mind, I have made up that Tricky Trina tried to come on to her. Tricky Trina and tried to uh, seduce her. That something happened in that room, and I'll never know the full details. But what I do know is... I'm not giving away my relationship this easy. We never had issues like this oh, in our relationship ever. Right, and the next, the, Zan, the, the next, all right. Whatever happened made me realize that I can lose my girlfriend. Whatever happened made me realize that now I need to open my eyes and start paying more attention to bringing people around my relationship, blah, blah, blah. But there's no way possible that I'm going to let this girl win or I'm going to break up with my partner because of this. That's not going to happen. So I end up telling her, well, we can't go to Mexico this weekend because I had already promised my sister I would keep the kids. She had work. And I was like, but I will schedule us for. I'm going to tell y'all something. You have to be mature in situations like this because you've been in a relationship with a person so long and you got to understand that shit happens, bro. Like this is a thing like and I don't think that people take that serious enough. I think everybody has this this visual in their mind that it's no such thing as cheating. It's no such thing as temptation. It's no such thing as, um, I don't call it a mistake. I, that mistake shit is bullshit to me. It's not a mistake. You wanted to do it. Um, so you wanting to do it is the thing, right? Let's get that out the way. 
And rightfully so, to be honest with you, especially I feel like after 18 years, bro, that's a long ass time. <laughs> That's a long, long time. I could very well, me and Honey Sauce, get to 18 years. I talked to her about this when I met her because she was into men. And I always told her, give me the option because ain't no telling we could be with each other for 10 years and you decide I want to be touched by a man again. Girl, let me know. So then I would know if I'm going to deal with something or not. Give me the option. But that's something you have to think about already when you in a relationship with a woman who just left men. So that's how our shit started out the gate anyway, because it's no way you could tell me that you absolutely just not in to men anymore. I felt at that time. So, you know, just let me know, give me an option. I understand we was brought here to allegedly do it. You know, had, you know, be in relations with men anyway, whatever as a lesbian, you gotta know, you gotta understand it. That's the risk you taking dealing with a woman. You can never think like, nah, she ain't gonna ever cheat on uh, she ain't gonna ever cheat on me. She ain't gonna ever want a man. Unfortunately, that's cap. Um, so you, you know, you just gotta be real about it. Hold on, let me pause this right quick. All right, go ahead. In relationship, uh, everybody deserves that much because I am a part of the realistic group of people that I know it's a possibility that you could like a person. Like when people trip, when your girl or your man looking at somebody, are you serious? <laughs> what are we, what are we talking about here? <laughs> like, I just, I, I think when people don't live realistic, that's when you get hurt. That's when the feelings start getting hurt. You, I can't believe you <laughs> looked at him. <laughs> what are we talking about, bro? That is a thing. Let's stop acting. The following week, which our anniversary was in two weeks. So, it, you know, it would all work out. So in the meantime, I just tried my best not to think about it. I went back to cooking. I went back to cleaning. I went back to um, going to work. You know, I just tried to get back to normal as possible. And in this small period of time, we're, me and my ex are spending time together. It's kind of like we were teenagers again. It's, we were spending time together. We, uh, I don't, I wasn't really a drinker like you. I would drink, but she told me, she said, I asked her what, you know, what are some of the things I'm trying to get to know what she liked, what I did wrong. She was like, well, you go to sleep early. So I'm trying to stay up late now, having a drink with her. We're, you know, we, we vibing. We're trying to reconnect because I'm trying to figure out what, if we never had this issue in all of these years, what in the world would make her do this? Is she leaving temptation, literally losing interest in me? Uh, have I become such a, a family woman that I forgot to be a wife or a, a girlfriend? Right. So that I was happens. This back. I mean, we having a lot of sex, right? Crazy. Like we having sex like every night. It's crazy. And oh, no, no, no. After the fact, I wouldn't have been able to fuck with her anymore, unfortunately. Since you dived in blood, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to do it, especially the fact that I know that you just did it to that man and that woman and then went behind the woman back doing it to the man and then it's a murder scene in a bed. No, 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 no. I wouldn't be able to do it to her after that. Nah, nope, nope, nope. Mm -mm. I mean, in a car, on our car rides. Um, mm -mm. Nah. Even, I, I never forget, my daughter came in town and nah. my daughter <laughs> walked in a room one, uh, one morning. We had to hi hide on side the bed like little two teenagers because we had been, and my children, they so used to being able to walk in a room because it's like, we never really... Even though my children grew up around both of us, hold on, hold on. Okay, I just felt the need to fix myself. I've been sitting here so long. My children, they saw affection. They saw us kiss, hug, you know, love on each other, but they never really had to knock because, you know, we'll be in the bed if we knew that we locked the door if something was going on or whatever. But we just had to hide on side of the bed like two teenagers. We had literally became back whatever we were missing in our relationship. That's sound like to me they wasn't they wasn't having sex. Did y'all get that? Because <clears throat> that's what I got. Heart came back. So bam, it had been like a week and a half, 
and we were just just really uh, again I'm not stupid something happened in that room again I 100% feel like I know my ex I know her she may have went in that room and something inappropriate happened but in my mind she didn't she didn't it wasn't her seducing she was drunk she was taken advantage of and not giving her a pass but I'm not about to lose my relationship over this okay Anybody who have dealt with this, then y'all understand what I'm coming from. I know it's going to be some girls in the comments that's going to say, oh, no, I would never. And I, I get that. I understand because I probably was that girl who would have said that, too. But again, when you're in a situation, you tend to not you never know what you'll do unless you're in that situation. Facts. So, bam. About a week and a half out, she came home one day. And she looked at me. I now. I could tell that she was being weird. Like she would do stuff like she told me one day, uh, Kaiser wants to go to Nikki's house, which is my sister. I was like, okay. She took Kaiser to my sister's house. Mind you, my ex don't ever go anywhere without me. It's always like one on one in the chat. We went places together. I might go places without her from time to time, but she never went places without me. That was crazy. Especially to my sister's house where she's an introvert. So she don't even socialize like that. In my mind, I was thinking, hmm, they trying to get their story together. So I was like, when she come home, I'm going to tell her stuff like, yeah, now, mind you, I'm thinking that we good, but at the same time, I'm a woman. So every now and again, I still pick a little bit. I would say stuff like, I'm going to find out one day what really happened. So whenever you want to talk, I need you to remember as much as you can because it's going to come out. You know, I would say little stuff like that. So what I'm gathering here, not gathering, I, I end up getting proof. Mm. So she come home about a week and a half later and she looks at me and she says, Cindy, really? I'm like, huh? She looks at me with a look that I have never seen her look at me that way in the whole 18 years. Mind you, we were dating or liking each other or friends for like a year and a half before we actually moved in together. We were living together for 18 years, but we were kind of messing around dating prior to that. But she had a, uh, she was in a relationship and I was in a relationship. So we were just flirt. We were friends. So out of all the years I've just because you see one 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 or eleven eleven in a time doesn't mean where is it at? Y'all gotta understand, ever since I left well, right before I left Charlotte, I was seeing angel numbers. I was actually seeing twelve twelve on the dot every twelve twelve. But ever since I got to Atlanta, I see angel numbers throughout everything. Listen, the angels talk to me, baby, on a daily basis. Uh, but where did I just see that? Because I specifically want to show y'all why you don't always have to see it in time. Damn it, where is it at? Where is it at? Ah. Do you see this 11 and this 1? That means 1, 1, 1. Hello. 111 in the chat. Sometimes I see 11K 11 days ago. 111. I see the numbers all the time. No, y'all wasn't going to see. Y'all was just supposed to receive the number and keep it moving. What the fuck are we talking about? I say angel numbers all day long. I've been knowing her. I never in my life saw her look at me like that. She looked at me like she hated me. And I was like, oh, my goodness, what's going on? So, yeah, I mean, y'all never question it. So I'm not understanding where that even came from. <laughs> I'm not I'm not understanding. I'm just giving y'all right. Via, what you mean, girl, please? What is that? I, you don't have to receive any more numbers. Later that day, she walked back in there and she said, oh, so you want me and my friends had this joke where. It's a joke between friends. I would be like, ooh, I want some, and I'm, I'm going to get some tonight because they would always tell me, girl, you ain't had like, a man in a long time. You about? need to get some. It was a joke between friends. You know, we're never the way with our friends that we are with our spouse most of the time. You know, we that's the time we get out, we have fun, we laugh, we whatever, whatever. So I looked. I'm like, how do she know that? 
My I missed that. Girl, you ain't had a man in a long time. You need to get so it, it was a joke between friends. You know, we're never the way with our friends that we are with our spouse most of the time. You know, we that's the time we get out, we have fun, we laugh, we whatever, whatever. So I looked, I'm like, how do she know that? Mind you, Trick or Trina hadn't been around since me and my friends made up this joke. We had this, oh, okay, so me and my friends had this joke for probably like the last three, four, or five years, right? But these are my real friends that, my real, real friends who I've been having since I was like elementary, middle school. And it's a whole group of us. But Tricky Trina was a friend like that I didn't mix them. She was, she never, Tricky Trina didn't have any friends, none. Every time she got a friend, she would like, they would fall out. Of course, that was a red flag in itself. Now, when I did have parties and stuff, they would mingle then, but we didn't hang out. You know, it was, these are my friends who we do every, who I do everything with. They're like family. This is Trick or Trina, who I consider a friend, but I began to get them mixed up. I started thinking, because these are my friends and they're so loyal, that Trick or Trina was like them when she wasn't. She was an outsider and she should have been treated as such. My fault again my mistake. So she would come home and she was like, oh, so. Yeah, y'all, I explained it because some of y'all new people don't be knowing and they really ask. So I really explain. But it's okay. I'll never explain again. Y'all just do it for me. Oh, you said this. <laughs> and I'm, I'm over thinking, it. damn. I only say that around my friends. But mind you, when Tricky Trina came back around this time, I said it a few times around her because, like, we went out to eat. We went to uh, eat one night, the night before my birthday. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get something. It was a joke, but because she maybe she didn't catch the joke because she's not in my other friend group. But I said it around her. But at this time, I had completely forgot that I said that around her. So I'm calling my friends. I'm like, I'm calling all my real friends. Like, are y'all talking to my ex? They were like, no. Are you talking to my ex? No. I'm calling everybody. I said, y'all, I'm not a cute. They was like, you know, we would never. I said, man, she's knowing stuff that she should not know. Like she's asking me stuff that she should not know. And um, I was like, she knows something. She's getting it from somewhere. Maybe she felt guilt for what she did and she started digging into my life. I don't know. So I'm asking my ex, where are you getting this stuff from? She was like, oh, I searched your phone. Mind you, we never did things like that. We never ch checked each other's phone. So now I'm looking through my phone, like deleting everything. I'm trying to find out what could she have looked? What could she have saw? I'm like, man, so then, bam, she come home like two days later, and she's like, oh, it was this guy who I was talking to because he had booked my daughter for a few events. Real nice looking guy, handsome. One time he booked her for an event, and me and my ex was together, and she was like, do you know him? I was like, yeah, like he, because he went through me. I sent him to my ex to book my daughter. But we really wanted to go to the event. So, I mean, we went with my daughter to the event. So he was there. I was like, yeah. No, she was like, do you know him personally? I said, just talking on the phone with him or whatever when, you know, he reached out to me for, for my daughter, Deke. She was like, so is he, has he ever been appropriate with you? I could tell, like, he was such a handsome man that, and he did try to get a little bit inappropriate with me at one time, but it never went anywhere. So... But women, we have intuition. So she picked up on that immediately. Anyway, she had asked me one time to make him unfollow me or block him. I was like, I'm not because it's nothing happening. I put him in his place. Nothing's happening. It, whatever. But, okay, I'm not perfect, right? I kind of like the attention a little bit. And like I told you, my ex-mama had been in and out of our personal business and whatever. So one of the, at one time, two years ago, two years prior, when me and Tricky Trainer was still cool, we went to an event of his because mind you, he was like two years before any of this happened. We went to an event in his that he threw. He invited my daughter to, to host one event, but then when he gave his next event, me and my, my friends went. Tricky Trina was there. Sound like to me, Tricky Trina done, uh, <laughs> Trina done snitched on uh, Nick Mama going to an event to support a guy that her girlfriend would did, would not approve of. Because like I told y'all, shit like this happens.
and she enjoyed the attention. It happens. So neither one of y'all was telling each other the truth is what is what that was. That still didn't give her no right to do it to the friend, but I feel like that gave Tricky Trina the the way in there. Like, oh, she ain't doing her right anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, technically, you done cheated anyway, so. Okay. So, I was like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. You know, it was a little flirting here and there, blah, blah, blah. But nothing ever happened. Like, I never kissed him. Come to find out, he was married. I never kissed him. And he was really, really, really spiritual. Let me throw that out. He was a real spiritual man. Never kissed him lets me know that <sighs> you got real close to this nigga, um, Mama Nee. I never kissed him. And um, okay. And he told me out his own mouth that. Where I, I'm like, well, how you flirt with me? But then he turned around and say that he would never cheat on his wife because he made a promise to God. No matter what he wanted to do, he made a promise to God. He was like, I don't even like my wife. So my promise mm. is not to her. My promise was to God. I told him that I would not, you know, have infidelities or whatever anymore. Anymore? Because of their past. You know, he was like, he told God, if you get me through this, that... um. If you get me through whatever he was going through, that he would never cheat on his wife, blah, blah, blah. So he was a real spiritual man. Nothing ended up happening. It was a little flirting or whatever. But, and it was inappropriate on my part. But mm. mind you, I'm with my friends. You never think that your friends are going to go back and tell your person. Like, no. That, that's now, I'm not mad at her for this, and I'm going to tell you why. If you out with your, if you out with your people... Um, and somebody sent a little flirt or something, you know, like I said, people always doing shit when you out, especially, um, feminine women, like they'll do it with honey sauce right there. I'd be like, nigga, what are we, what are we doing? Um, she'd be ready to just kill everybody, but men do the same thing to her. Right. So what am I supposed to do? Get mad every time? Like it's no such thing. So. If she out with her friend and they send a flirt or whatever, that is definitely not for you to take your ass back to her and say that um, they flirted or whatever. Honey sauce will probably be like, I know she's a flirt. Fuck. Next. Like, it, it ain't. I don't feel like that that was that deep. However, when she went into the to the to saying, like, we ain't kiss or nothing. It's like. This sound like a little deeper than than, than what it was supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all didn't kiss and it sounded like y'all didn't have sex because he didn't want to. But do you know if she would have been caught outside of the flirt part, right? If the, if the flirt, say for instance, he did bite. If she would have got caught, then her and her relationship would have been over with anyway because she done slept with a man after 18 years. Do you see what I'm saying? It's a thing, bruh. It is a thing. Oh my God. That would have that would have tore her ass to pieces. Now, you know what? It's giving me what I'm my spidey senses are telling me is Shorty, which is tricky Trina told the girlfriend, she was out there flirting with some man and you know. She told me she like da da da, and I just feel as though, um, her stud girlfriend wanted to get her get back because I'm definitely that person as well, and have been that person before. Um, do you think being a flirt and being friendly is the same? Yes. Yes. Um. I feel like you know. So women being friendly to anybody is can be a can be a form of flirting and y'all don't even know it. Because the thing is, you like the attention and women try to act like they don't like the attention. And well, that's simply a lie. You like it or you like whatever the conversation is, whatever. You know what I'm saying? 
it's a thing. So I do. Yes. I think it's the same shit. That's not going to happen, right? Especially so, with somebody they could potentially be attracted to. Yeah. Bam, she came home one day and she was like, I knew something was going on with you and my Being dad. nice and polite is what Queen did the other day. Hey, how you doing? Oh, shit. He fine. Damn. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get off here, okay? Because you're fine. And I don't want to get cussed out. How many kids you got? I absolutely will not be getting into conversation with you, although I want to. However, comma, what I'm going to do, I'm going to head on out. All right. You be blessed now with your fine ass. But we not today. <laughs> not today. You're not going to not like this. <laughs> you're not, woo, you're not going to catch me like this. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? That's what Queen had to do right fast that day. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I feel like, first of all, she clearly knew she was accepting it. But when that nigga walked up in there like that, she didn't know he was going to be that. She didn't know that was going to be him. Okay. So when she peeped, it was him. It was like, ooh, mm -mm, let me get, oh, shit. How you doing? I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to head, head on now. I just got here. Why are you heading out? Let's battle. Uh, battle ropes in the gym. I don't do battle ropes. Listen, whatever you saying, I don't want to do it. How many kids you got? Conversation absolutely cannot happen. Maybe if I was outside and you were outside, that would be totally different. But see, it can't be like this. Not right here. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So you go ahead and... Uh, handle your business. Okay, cuz started falling over shit. And I ain't gonna lie, Clarence probably seen it and laughed. He probably was like, you like that attention, didn't you? You know what I'm saying? She probably, no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I just want everybody to stop acting like that ain't a realistic thing. I've definitely seen Honey Sauce flirting before, and I'll say, Honey Sauce, you're flirting like hell, ain't it? I mean, I let you have it for a couple minutes, but girl, I was about to jump in. Y'all been talking a little too long for me. Oh, <laughs> and she's a friendly person too but you know what I'm saying if I gotta if I gotta pull it back at some point baby you done got caught in the trans at least do it while I'm not here damn you know what I'm saying do, do it while I'm not here but I knew what I was signing up for she's a Leo this is just <laughs> you gotta know that's low key insecure what's insecure one too many, I keys. All right, now. <laughs> she do it to me, I do it to her. It, that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad we don't take life so seriously because if we did, we wouldn't be able to enjoy it. Hello? I was like, what? Huh? <laughs> Cause you got one more I key. I'm going to tell you right now, girl. <laughs> I'm going to embarrass you. Hey, cuz, you don't want to talk to her. She got herpes like a motherfucker. You don't want her. I'm telling you right now. like, <laughs> um... Yeah, so we both got herpes. Yeah, that's why we together. <laughs> then grab her and shit. <laughs> uh huh. Ain't that right, baby? Uh huh. You're talking too long. Get your ass on. She started <laughs> saying stuff, and I'm like, "Hold on, guys. Let me get let me get a little bit more comfortable." Cause my feet was cramping. Hold on. Let me get this a little bit away from my mouth. She was like, "Oh my God, we not gonna get through this video." Clarence questioning Queen about a lie with a random. That's not. That's not insecure. You could tell Queen was, <laughs> you could tell Queen was disturbed. Like, you could tell, not disturbed, you could tell she was like, oh, shit, I done pulled up in here with this fine-ass man. That was very obvious. So that's not an insecurity he recognized, if he even said anything, because I don't know, I don't live with them niggas. He, I would think he would have recognized, oh, you was flirting. Uh-huh. Because if we all seen it, ain't no way Clarence missed it. So how is that an insecurity if he brought it up? I don't understand. She was bothered, baby, her inner thighs quiver, all that. I'm talking about she was over here like, oh, my God. Oh, he fine. Mm. You can have a fine nigga and still like another fine nigga. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's the thing. One, one, one in the chat. So it's just like, what you want me to do? Well, all right, let me let her finish. Uh, hold on. She was like, I knew something was going on between you and him. I'm like, so bam, again, I immediately start calling my friends again. Immediately, I start calling my friends again. I'm like, y'all, are y'all sure nobody's talking to her? So bam, I went on ahead and beat the bullet, bit the bullet, even though I said I wasn't dealing with Trick and Trina anymore at all. I'm like, 
uh, one of my friends said something that had nothing to do with being related to the situation. Because mind you, at this point, I didn't tell anybody what happened with Trigger Trina walking in, um, with me walking in on them or whatever, because I didn't even want nobody judging my relationship. Only person I told was my daughter and my son and my daughter-in-law. Those are the only people who knew. But the fact that somebody was telling my ex something, like I was trying to get to the bottom of it. So I ended up calling Trigger Trina. I was like, are you talking to my ex? No, I texted her first. And she texted me back and said, you are the one who told me that your ex would never talk to any of your friends. Didn't you say that? I said, I said that. She said, well, she would never talk to me. So why would you ask me that? I was like, okay. Now she's getting the information from somewhere because this information is accurate. Right? But then she got other information behind it. It's like, okay, now you're going too far. Some of this information is true, but some of this information is completely false. Like whoever giving you this information, they got hidden agendas because now they making stuff up. Like what? She even accused me. She was like, oh yeah, um, so tell me which one of my friends you, you messing with. Oh, friends, first of all, you ain't got no friends. Second of oh. all, that is gross and disgusting. I would never in life. So now, now you're making stuff up. But so she's still talking to Tricky Trina. Trina's trying to um, make what they did valid is what she's doing. I could see how my ex would think that this stuff is true because you didn't got already. You didn't got some of the some true stuff that's mixed in with some stuff that's not true. And you're getting it from somebody who supposed to be my friend. So you think you got a reliable source now, right? So my ex just coming home every day, like, you know, just looking at me like she hates me. So mind you, the first ex, the first, the very first incident happened on the night of January the 6th, moving into January the 7th. Now a whole month has passed. It is now February the 6th. But she started coming to ask me stuff like, okay, no, no, our... She, our anniversary was in February, so it was a whole month out. I was having the dates a little confused in the beginning. So now it took her about two weeks, two full weeks to start asking me stuff. And our anniversary is coming up in two more weeks. So when she started asking me stuff, this, y'all, this created so much guilt inside of me. I could not sleep. I could not eat. I found myself crying. Like I didn't know what was going on. I was like, man, things had just got so good after she did what she did. I literally forgave her and blamed myself. And on top of me blaming myself, I wanted to work on my relationship. So now I'm in here like, I'm in here just like, okay, what do I do? What, 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 what is, what is, not done made this woman feel guilty and you done smashed my friend. See, that's when I would have hit her with the clearly it's obvious. We both been, um, you know, looking other places, having the wandering eye. I got that. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at him. He was looking at me. I liked it, but she was looking at you. You was looking at her and you decided to fuck my friend in our house. Nah. Don't get me wrong, two wrongs don't make a right. But um uh uh I just feel like it's distinctly different. <clears throat> it's happening. She came home one day and I didn't know she was home early and I was in the tub naked crying. She had turned off her location. We don't even check each other locations like that. Well, I don't check hers. But she came home one day and I, I asked her something about uh, where she was or whatever. She was like, oh, because I turned off my location the way you did. The night we went to this guy's event, I turned off my location because, of course, I didn't know her know where I was. I was doing something wrong. I'm admitting that. I'm not. What? I no, Cindy, no. <laughs> Honey sauce has told me before, I don't care if you're with the bit. Keep your location on. Okay? There's so many reasons for you to have your location on, though. It's so many reasons for you to have your location on. But my nigga, you cut it off. 
when you went to go kick it with a nigga. And what's messing me up is he the one who told her no. He the one that was like, nah, I ain't trying to cheat on my wife. So you telling me that you basically would have. <laughs> you telling me that you would have gave him the booty for real. In the event that he would have did it or would have wanted to do it. And now you telling me that you would have cut your location. You, <laughs> you did cut your location off in the process. That's looking like you got a little bit disrespectful, Miss Cindy. Oh, hold on now. This changed a couple things, okay? <laughs> This changes a couple things, Miss Cindy. You know? Ah, uh, that's some disrespectful. The, oh my God, the things I would have thought about you doing with that man. Oh my God. Oh. I would have just died on the inside. Because. I, I, like I said, I'm not perfect, right? Uh, you really not perfect. But how did she know I turned off my location? Because when I came home, she asked me why was my location off. And I said, my phone, where we were had a bad, it was in a bad area. Cindy! <laughs> and now you you can't lie worth a damn. This is why she thugged you like this. So now I ain't gonna cap, I ain't gonna cap y'all down. I'm not even mad at the ex no more. But the friend. See, the friend wanted your bitch in the first place. Okay. So she decided to squoze. Yes, I said squoze. She decided to squoze herself in the situation because you was technically cheating fur. Mm. Cindy, Cindy, dirty Cindy. No, we're going to call you sneaky Cindy. She was like, oh, okay. I said my, so I, so the lie I told her, she turned around and she said, oh, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I was in a bad area. Hello. I'm just going to tell you straight up. I turned my location off. At this point, I was just asking where she was, where she had been. Now, I what never, I, what I do, what I used to do when I used to get mad at Honey Sauce, I cut my phone off. I cut it off because at that point, I don't want to be bothered with nobody. I cut my shit off. I'm just sitting at a bar by my goddamn self. You and me. Bone off as hell. Okay? But no, cutting the location off is two different things. I'm not cutting my location off. And I ain't lying about cutting my location off because if I cut it off, damn it, that's what I did. Thought to even check her location, but she wanted me to know I turned. Yeah, I but turned I damn my location cut off. My phone off. Just like you turned your location off that day. So I'm like, no, I, I just... Now I want to go through her phone. I'm like, we need to, I need to go through your phone, right? But she changed her password. I'm like, what is going on with us? Where, where is this stuff happening? I'm, at this point now, I, I, oh, like I said, I had saw something that was completely not related to the situation, but I saw it on the internet and it says, you keep your friends close, you keep your enemies closer. And it rung a bell like, okay, right now, I really feel like Tricky Trina is my enemy, but I got to pretend to play nice with her because I need to find out if she's the one who's telling my ex stuff. Because mind you, why wouldn't she be the one? Honey sauce, I ain't turned it off since I turned it off that first time. Maybe it happened twice, but after that, I ain't turned it off again. Uh, and I don't even leave anymore at this point. Uh, so. We need a break. Even though I know what I did was wrong, I had a certain uh, way about myself that I love my ex so much I never wanted her to think bad about me. You know, our foundation I thought was so tight that I never even want you to look at me in no other eyes. I always loved the fact that she looked at me where she trusted me, where she, um, you know, we could go... I, I used to like to go to the casino. I could sit at the casino overnight and she wouldn't even call. It was kind of like she knew that I would never do anything to cheat on her. I love that about her. So the guilt was eating away at me that I had disappointed my ex. 
And I knew that the guilt was eating away, away at her in the beginning that she had disappointed me. So I was like, what is going on with us? Just help me, help me understand. Like I'm crying, I'm not eating. Like it is bad. So bam, I did a thing and I don't even know if I'm incriminating myself with this one. I probably shouldn't even say I did it, but I was walking in my closet one day and I saw something prior to a few years ago. Now my, oh, and mind you guys, when the, the incident that happened where Trick or Trina was with me, um, well, whatever, whatever, that happened a whole two years ago. That just goes to show you how me and my ex, we didn't have these type of problems in our relationship. That was a whole two years ago, okay? So bam, I came home one day, I looked in the closet, and I saw this thing sitting there that we use in meetings for work. And it records 1,100 hours and it only records when it hears motion. So you could put it somewhere and as long as it's sitting there, it won't pick up any, anything until it hears motion. I thought about it and I said, no, no, Cindy, no, no, no. This is invasion of privacy. Don't do it. Don't do it. But guys, here I am. I'm hating myself. The guilt is eating me up. I don't know what's going on in my relationship. I can't even bring up the fact that I caught her in the room with my, with Trick and Trina with blood all over the bed and the sheets messed up. I could clearly tell that they were rumbling around and probably doing God knows what in my grandson's bed, which grossed me out. Like the thought of it made me cry over and over and over again so much that my eyes were permanently swollen. Like still today, this has been months ago and I still feel the bags under my eyes. So it's like now I'm filled with guilt, shame that now it's not just you, it's me too. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, Let's to go take, I, I, didn't, I didn't set schedules for lie detective tests. Go to lie detective tests because I can, lie, I can tell you one thing I never ever did, and I'm not, I'm not a saint, but I never had sex with nobody, okay? Never, ever, ever had sex with nobody besides you. So I was like, let's go take a, a lie detective test because whoever's telling you this, um, they're, they're adding so much stuff in. Like I never slept with anybody. Now, but the guilt is eating away at me because now I find myself defending myself versus trying to fix what happened a few weeks ago, right? Now, she's not really going to work. I'm going to, mind you, oh, I worked in her office for 17 years, okay? Not just worked in there, like I had a full, I, that was my full-blown job. I did have a full-time job, but when my daughter had my grandson, I quit that job so that I could work for her full-time and still have, because we could bring my grandson to the office with us, you know, and I paid my dues to society. I raised all my kids. Why am I working two jobs now? I might as well quit one, work for her full time. Plus I'm helping her in the office because her grandfather had just got sick. Mind you, she comes from money. Her family is wealthy. And we're going to get into that too. A uh, lot of the reason why a bunch of stuff has happened. So um, I decided, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm like losing my mind now. Imagine me being in a house. I'm all these different emotions going through my head. It's a brand new year, right? So much stuff is happening. Like it's making my, I, my head spin. It's moving so fast. I don't know if I'm going or coming. I'm just literally losing my mind. I have never in my whole entire life felt so empty and so confused. So I left home one day, I threw the recording, I threw the recording in the basket under some clothes and I left it there, okay? The only time I would come in and turn it off is like when I get home, cause I'm home and I just didn't want it to keep picking up on our conversations. So I would turn it off, you know, maybe when she leave out the room or whatever, but then I would turn it back on. I was getting up every morning, going to the office, working, and she would come to the office maybe around 10 or 11 o'clock. Now, we always did get to the office at different times, but she had started coming later, and then she would stay at the office later. 
So this went on. Definitely should have had a camera in the house. She would have seen her go in that room. For, of, of course, like I said, like two, three weeks. So I know something is weird. I know she's talking to somebody. Her behavior is completely different. She's looking at me different. She's coming home looking at me like every single day that she came home for like a week. Almost every single day she had a different story about something I did. And I know without a fact, because the stuff would be kind of true, but it'd be so much added on to it. Like, oh yeah, you was, you was with this dude. Yeah, we went to his event. But she was insinuating like that we had slept together and stuff. I'm like, but you're wrong about that. So Y'all just didn't get to sleep together. Mm.